Hey everyone, we're looking at day 30 today. Uh, didn't get much done with the gardens, just gonna be a quick video today. Tired, wanna go to bed. <laughs> I'll do some trimming on these tomorrow. Oh, yeah, hold on. As you can see, the basils are looking fantastic, but they're ready for uh, some trim. So uh, I think, see what's happening now is I should have already trimmed, but I didn't. So I've done one, two, I think three trims now. I think I've got to do these big leaves next. Yeah, see these big leaves here? That'll be my next trim and that'll keep the basil balls nice and tight. These guys are going crazy. I really should have split them. Last time I had them, what I did was I just kept like kind of folding it on top of each other like this and it ended up like rolling into itself. It was really cool. Sage is doing great back there. I cannot believe that. And <laughs> as always, these two tomato plants have gotten huge. I did want to show you real quick though. The flowers are actually starting to form. See that? And then down here, same thing. Oops, where it is? There it is. The flower's starting to form. Cool, eh? So two totally different tomato plants, but forming their flowers on the exact same day. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. And then the dill back there is uh, surviving. It's like way back there. See it? <laughs> it's doing alright. It's just curling around. Diva tends to flip flop all over the place. Oh, sorry. My cat is picking at cardboard beside me. And here's the other garden real quick. There we go. Ginger's got at 90 degree angle still while it waits for the leaf to unfurl. Tomato plants have gotten really big already. They're crowding that basil. I might move that basil out. And the lettuces are doing really nice too. So, so far everything's looking good. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone. It is day 31. I've got you at a bit of a different angle here today because I need to do some trimming. So I'm going to trim off all of these big leaves here. We've done, this will be now our fourth trimming. We have done the tops, the sides, the tops, and now it's the sides again. So we'll get off all of these big leaves here. And that gives a chance for where it's split into two to grow bigger. And I had forgotten to take off these big ones on the bottom before. So I'm going to do that right now. There we go. We're expecting another big snowstorm here coming soon, so it's so nice to be able to grow my own herbs <laughs> indoors. I can't tell you how nice this smells. It is amazing <laughs> to have this in my kitchen and be able to cook with it at any time. Now, you, this is going to look a little dramatic to you guys because I am chopping off quite a few of the big leaves here. But I promise you the plant will love it and it will be much happier later on. Now, these ones are going crazy. I'm not sure how you are with that angle, but these are two separate plants here. So, my basil is doing fantastic. I think I might actually do a double trim on these because I see the tops are growing quite fast. So I'm going to trim off the tops here and I'm going to do the big leaves on the sides as well. There we go. Now the whole reason for me doing this is I am trying to keep these basil plants as short as possible. Um, I call them my little basil balls. <laughs> They'll turn into big, basically circles of basil. Instead of growing a big tall plant, it will grow um, out into a circle. Because I trim the top, trim the sides, trim the tops, trim the sides. And I think that was all the big leaves. Okay. Actually, I might be able to do these ones as well. There we go. Give it some more room to grow. Yeah, so just trimming off these nice 
big leaves that are at the top. These are the very first set of leaves that would have grown when we split the plant at the very beginning. So, I'll do these two as well or no? I think that'll be alright for this plant. Leave some on. Now you never want to cut more than 30% of your plant at once. This one's getting pretty leggy, so I'm going to chop that top off and then get these big leaves off. Perfect. Hope you guys have been enjoying watching these plants grow in my little arrow gardens here and my other plant in the big garden. My lettuces are growing nicely also. I will be showing you guys that in a minute. I just wanted to do this big trim here with you guys on camera. Most of the time I wanted to let you know as well that you guys see just about everything that I do with these plants. Um, there's no extra tending to them that I'm not showing you or there's no extra trimming that I'm doing that you aren't seeing. I'm trying to keep this as real as possible just to show you how easy these are to maintain. Now you do want to trim often so that they don't outgrow where they are in the uh, arrow gardens, but uh, I don't know, you can keep them nice and compact in here. I'll just raise my light a little bit, I think. Now this is my savory, I believe, yeah, the savory. I think I'm just going to top off, cut off all the tops because this is getting way too leggy and long. So I do have a dehydrator and I will stick uh, all of this into the dehydrator. I do have enough on this big trim. This is considered quite a large trim for these plants. Um, I usually don't tend to do too much at once, but like I said earlier, 30% of the plant is the most you want to cut off. Now for this one, I am doing all the tops because I don't want it to grow up anymore. <laughs> it's already hitting my lights a couple of times. Oh, I should have done that one on the other one. Oh, that's fine. Okay, one more here. And we're done for this side. Okay. Now, I really should have split this plant as well. This is, um, I don't even know if you can see at that angle. It's getting pretty leggy and it's two plants in a pod and I really should have just uh, trim them down to one earlier on. I might still do that. I'll have to look and see. This plant's really cool because you can like maneuver the um, branches around. I've been able to twist it onto itself quite a few times in the past. So that's always fun to uh, to play with plants that way. I don't know how I'm going to do with trimming off this much, but we'll see. It's alright. It needed it anyways. Okay, so we'll let that one go for now. The Bradley tomato over here in the corner is doing nice. Wow, my water is really low. <laughs> Looking at my water and it's like way down there. It's gone down about that much. But I do see the base is full of roots now. So I'm going to pause you for a moment and change your angle so you can see what we did. Okay, we are back. Still on day 31. Just finished all that trimming. Here's everything that I trimmed off, you can see. Got the purple basil here, and the green basil, and some savory. I think I might do a little bit of trimming on the sage back there as well. Now I do think this Bradley tomato is going to be a big plant, I can already tell. But look how different the leaf structure is on this one compared to the other ones. It's neat, eh, how different tomato plants grow? This is doing great. Of course it had to prove me wrong. I said it was going to be one of like a hard plant to grow in the arrow gardens, but no, it's doing fantastic. Smells delicious. Yeah, this one died on me, I think. Even though it's still green at the top, it's not happy and it's curling and it's just not doing great. The other tomato plant I transplanted on the other hand is doing great. <laughs> so... It is, oh, is it starting a tomato? I think it might be starting a tomato in there. Wow, look at that. Cool. 
Alright. Oh yeah, here. Well, now that I got you this way, maybe I can angle you down and you can see... Oh, can you see in there? Oh yeah, you can. Look. Look at all the roots. Isn't that crazy? So that's how big the roots are. If I was to lift this thing up... Let me see if I can do it easily for you guys. Oh, there we go. Look. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Look. Look at that. Are you guys seeing that? That is the roots from just the three basil plants. Awesome. Oh, look at that. A root's trying to escape right now. Get back in there. That is so cool. All right. Make sure that's on there properly. Perfect. Okay. I don't know if you can hear the bubbles on. Oops, no, wait. This one. You see them? The water level's a little lower here. So it makes louder bubbles, I find, <laughs> when the water level gets low. And, but, Penelope, what are you doing in there? I can't even see you anymore. Hi. <laughs> Here's my little Canadian house hippo. Isn't she cute? Apparently the uh, little gnomes aren't are ignoring her today. <laughs> so the tomatoes. Look, 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 look. Do you see the flowers coming? Look. There's some more there. <gasps> That's so cool. And then this one's starting up as well here. Oh no, I need to get some more light in here so that above can get a little bit more light. I don't want to raise the lights too much because these um, tiny tims will go up too much, so I don't want them. Well, they are really small, compact tomatoes, but... Anyways, that's day 31 and the basil after a nice big trim. It doesn't even look like I've done much to it, but yep, those got a nice big trim today. <laughs> this one's looking a little sad, but she'll perk up. Now, on to the dirt garden here. Let's see here. Ooh, uh, Oh my goodness, you see that? My tiny Tims in the back are just about ready to touch the light. And it's covering up that basil. My ginger is still sitting at that 90 degree angle but curling up. Look at that. Isn't that funny? It'll open itself up soon. And then nothing came up in there. I think I'm going to put some chives in here. Um, and just fill the whole thing up with chives. That should be fun. And the lettuces are growing. Not too bad. I should try and eat some maybe soon. What do you think? <laughs> I'll keep you updated on that one. Haven't tried any yet, but tried the basil. The basil is fantastic. I've had it in uh, on some pizza and I put it in some sauce already. So this was a nice cutting today. So I'll be able to dehydrate all of this and have some spices. So hope you guys are enjoying watching this grow and I don't know about you but I think that's pretty good for 31 days one full month and I've already got sage and savory and basil that I can eat and the tomatoes are coming along nicely keep watching guys have a good day